Well, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Donkin' Rompa V3 Killing Harmony. <laughs> I see you've made it here to the very end of this game, <laughs> to this last trial. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Last time uh, we spent uh, the first, I guess, significant portion of the class trial uh, proving uh, that our very first class trial of this game was rigged from the start or maybe not from the start but it was rigged <laughs> uh we we spent time basically revisiting rantaro and kaede's trial and proving that kaede was in fact innocent kaede did not uh uh kill rantaro in that uh that murder it was actually conducted by the mastermind uh the mastermind was the true murderer and then framed kaede uh for her to take the fall for the killing game to just continue. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's not a great way to start, honestly. All no, it's considered. not great. Yeah. Um, but it also, you know, from moment one in this class trial, we've proven that there's something wrong with this killing game. Yep. But Monokuma seems a bit unperturbed, so we've moved on to being like, okay, fine, let's figure out who the mastermind yep. is. Yep, and now we've basically determined that the mastermind has to be one of us. It's someone in our group that's been moving in and out of their, you know, mastermind spaces and controlling the game. They have the hidden room that they operate. Uh, they've been sneaking in and out of there. They've been using the nanokumas to monitor what everyone's doing and to time things out exactly right. Uh, and now we are here to point the finger mm -hmm. and figure out who it is and be like, it's like, why? What's going on? Yeah. Why, why? What is your deal? What's your deal here? Himiko's like, we're here because we're we're all friends. It's fine. And then Shuichi's like, no, hmm. no, someone there, there, there's a, yeah, there's a traitor afoot. There's a rotten apple. Yeah. So, in this here barrel. I'm not even. I think that's it. I just want to keep going. I agree. Let's go. Let's go. I I gotta know. I have to know. Eh? Our right to live. Is someone about to die? Is that what's going on? Whatever! I don't believe you! There's no way the mastermind's here! I'm sorry. Uh, Himiko? Himiko? Sorry. Wait. Even if it's one of the 16 students, it doesn't mean it's one of us, does it? <laughs> so here's the thing, Maki. <laughs> they have to be alive to be doing their shit, so I think it does mean it has to be one of us. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, not I necessarily. Mean, you could automate, a, you could automate a, a killing game. That is true. I guess you could set it up and automate it and stuff. But it, there's a lot of evidence that seems to imply that it's someone that has been operating, like, you know, as a physical person yeah. through here, through the majority of the game. I don't know. I agree. It's possible that the mastermind merely faked their death and has been alive this whole time. Fake, huh? Now that we know Monokuma will break rules as he sees fit, that possibility should be... What's that supposed to mean? Hurry up and answer! Okay, so Kiba's saying, could have been one of the victims or one of the uh, people that got executed, but they could have faked their death because mm -hmm. it's a mastermind and we, that did happen. And the rules, do the rules even apply to them? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Do the rules even apply to them? And that happened in Danganronpa 1, so... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna blow up the rest of the monocubs! Oh, we'll we'll take our time then. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Empty threat. Hurry up and answer! The identity of the mastermind. We'll know for sure. Once we determine who killed Rantaro. I need to confirm something to find out who that is. Ooh. What I need to determine to uncover the mastermind. Is the causes of death, the alibis for Rantaro's murder, what happened after we first woke up? What happened after we first woke up? Like the first time? I guess that's not really applicable for this. Yeah, that, that seems to have not been the right I, answer. I had a, I, I got a little quick on that because I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds interesting. Like that, I, wanna, I want to talk about that. I, yeah, that's literally, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to fast forward here. Oh, yeah. no. Sorry, <sighs> I know, I know, I know. Half a heart. Um, I guess alibis. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. What was everybody doing? That's I know that's the correct answer. I just got we excited. Go I wanted to talk about the Rantaro's <laughs> okay. murder again. Our alibis from way back then? Yeah, everyone. Can you remember? Didn't we discuss that during the first trial? 
What good would it do to discuss it again? Now that we know Rantaro was killed by the Mastermind, it might lead somewhere. If we can pinpoint to someone coming out of the girl's bathroom, that would be really cool. <laughs> That'd be neat. I would love to hear about that. that that's a tricky one to narrow in on, but maybe. Alibi that we didn't see at the time. Mm -hmm. So we just have to give our alibis again. Fine. Then let's do it. So we can be sure that the mastermind's not one of us. <laughs> I wonder where this discussion will lead. Will it lead to a mastermind in this very room? Or not? Either way, we're going to make sure this trial stays exciting. Okay. 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 Killing, Killing game. game. Mother Kuma, shot put ball, hidden room passes away, clues to the mastermind. <laughs> With Kaito and Gonta and... I'm going to read that real quick. A secret passageway hidden in the back of the supply closet in the girls' bathroom on the first floor. It is connected to the hidden room in the back of the library. This passageway was not even shown on the map of the school in the Survivor Perk monopad. Only the mastermind knew about it. I feel like it's probably going to be this, but it yeah, could, that seems likely. It could Mom. be this. Who's the mastermind? Also, but Tanko and Angie were there too. Even if I was in the same basement. It's impossible for me to have killed Rantaro. Hey! I didn't kill Rantaro either! I was in my room by myself. And so were Ryoma and Kokichi too. I know that is a poor alibi, that one. but I did <laughs> not go. kill Rantaro. I was in the dining hall. Kyo, Mew, and Kirumi were with me. Though I did leave briefly to use the bathroom. <laughs> stop talking. Just stop talking right now! <laughs> I think she even said that in the first I trial. Went, yep, I went to the bathroom. Yeah. Or like, I came from the bathroom. Yeah, she mentioned it. But why would anyone suspect that? Because I mean, they only harped on it because it meant that there was a, a, a short window where she wasn't accounted for. But then they were like, that doesn't matter. Yeah, they're like, well, she just went to the bathroom. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> huh? You said you went to the bathroom. Yeah. It's true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. The girls' bathroom near the dining hall, right? What did you say? That bathroom? And Himiko can can uh back us up on this. Mm -hmm. Huh? This one's what? interesting what because of the investigation. Nobody has the same information except for Shuichi. Yeah, which does mean that he's managing to catch people a little bit. Yeah, yeah it is it's interesting. It's really cool. Shuichi, didn't you investigate the girls' bathroom? Did you find anything? <laughs> the utility closet in that bathroom has a hidden passageway. It sure does. <laughs> One that's connected to the hidden room in the back of the library. Which means it's possible to get into the hidden room from that bathroom. What? Around what? When Tara was killed, <laughs> Tsumugi went to that exact bathroom. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> I'm positive that when Rantaro was killed, the culprit was in the hidden room. It's too convenient to be coincidence. Hold on. This is all so sudden. I don't think I understand. But maybe they got there from the hidden door in the library instead. No. Cameras, I don't think baby. So. Cameras. And it takes a while for that door to open and shut. Remember that I had placed That's dust it. in and the that. card reader in the yeah. library. And it wasn't disturbed. No, we knew it hadn't been used. Yep. I was trying to determine if the hidden door was opened with a card reader. But the dust didn't fall. That means nobody used that card reader. So, to enter the hidden room, they would need to use a different route. The girls' bathroom. Yes, I believe that's the case. 
the culprit entered the hidden room from the girl's bathroom on the first floor. And with the help of Mother Kuma, watched the situation in the library unfold. As soon as they saw that Kaede's plan failed, they waited for the camera interval. He ran in, bonked him. Crack! <laughs> yeah. And leaped out of the hidden room, shot put ball in hand. And we know that if the door opens from the inside the room out, it doesn't disturb, you don't use the card key reader yep. like, at all. So There's no card key reader on the other side either. Yep. Yeah. The hidden door could open from the inside, so there was yep. no need to use the card reader. Sorry, I jumped ahead, Shuichi. In any case, the culprit attacked Rentaro <laughs> with a <laughs> shot put ball, left him in the laughing. library. She fucking came in and just fucking straight up killed this guy. She did. Yep. <laughs> yep. According to what's going According on, yeah. Returned <laughs> to the hidden room. Yep. And they also took the survivor perk monopad that Rantaro had, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Then they left the monopad <laughs> and the <laughs> shot in the hidden room. <laughs> headed into the Ran back out of the bathroom. Wow! The timing! And returned to the girl's bathroom. Wow. Are you saying the one who did it was Samugi? No! It has to be some kind of mistake! Up till now... Everything pointed to the mastermind not being one of us. Is the movie even capable of doing all this? He's just a cosplayer, you know. <laughs> yeah, all this would be impossible for just some cosplayer. But you said that you went to that bathroom during Rantaro's murder. How can you possibly refute that fact? <laughs> And if it was someone else and you were you in the bathroom, yeah, you would have heard them or saw them or something. Refute? It's it's all just a coincidence. Oh, Kibo and Ryoma didn't have alibis. What if they went to the girls' bathroom? Did you see one of them in the girls' bathroom? Mm-hmm. What? If one of them had gone into that bathroom, you would have seen each other, right? But you never mentioned that. That's... Smoogie, what's the meaning of this? You're falling apart really fast, it feels like. There's something, there's something going on. Something's going on. Can this really be true? Oh, here we go. Betrayed yet again. Smoogie, is this true? No, it's not. I really only went to use the bathroom. I didn't know about the hidden passage. Look lively, Mono Cubs! You're up! Move your asses! That's, That's very, very wrong! wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the extra uh, ones. Uh, Father's never yelled at me like that before. If we don't do well, short life, we're all gonna get blown up together. <laughs> Ever? <laughs> you've been a, you've been alive in this version for like what thirty minutes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's our tops. Yeah, yeah. I guess early. There's more than that. <laughs> I got news, Monofini. Oh, I'm sorry, Monofini. <laughs> so please, let us win. What? Please, please let us win. <laughs> no. I love that they're like, like evoking our morality here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you don't want to contribute to our death. Going back, Mother Kuma's voice print system. I think it might die. be that. I think it could be that. Well, could be. No Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what Four Eyes is talking about. Bad guys never wear glasses. Anyway, just cut it out. <laughs> we don't wanna die. I love that this is so sad, actually. Their argument is just please don't, don't let us kill die. Us. <laughs> Come on, God. <laughs> okay. There's <laughs> nothing to refute. They're just like, Monica we don't want to die. Mastermind are the bad guys here. You don't want to die? Do you know how many of my friends were sacrificed? Please help us! Is yeah, four eyes over there really the mastermind? There's no argument being made no. here. No. We don't know anything. Well, they don't. Uh, they don't know who she is. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. They 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 don't have any memories. No, so they don't know what's going on. Stop this. There's uh, no evidence that she's the mastermind. It's this one. Good. <laughs> well done. <laughs> God, so casual. Just like and done. <laughs> I'm ready for them to stop. Destroyed. Mother Kuma told us something. There it is! Uh. 
Ha! Sorry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I have built a voice print authentication system. I can't birth Monokumas unless the designated person says the word birth. That individual is, of course, the mastermind. Uh-huh. When the mastermind commands Mother Kuma to give birth, it makes a spare. We all tried it out. Yeah. Uh, but Kiba wasn't there, was he? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right, because I was fighting the Exosols. Did you hear that? Kibo didn't try giving Mother Kuma a command. So the real mastermind is... Tamugi was the only one who didn't say give birth. That's what I said! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah. Everyone else said give birth. It's so... <laughs> sort of. A, they said birth, but birth yes. Of birth of Monokuma. It's so wild that that's like the key word. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Whatever! Just give birth to a Monokuma! <laughs> yeah, Are yeah, you I mean, listening? I'm sorry. <laughs> they all said... Hurry up and give birth to a Monokuma. Yep. But she said... Tsumugi specifically used a different phrase. <laughs> Yeah! Try and make a new Monokuma! You didn't say give birth. Mm -hmm. You said make. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> you knew how to get Mother Kuma to create a spare, didn't you? That's why you specifically said make. If you had said give birth, Mother Kuma would have made a spare. Am I right, Sumugi? Shuichi, do you really think I'm the mastermind? Th there's just no way! Hey everyone, say something! I'm not the mastermind! That's crazy, right? <laughs> hmm. Then refute it. We're waiting. Huh? I don't want to believe it either. That one of our friends, the survivors, could do this. That's why I'm begging, Sumugi. I'm begging you to refute me. I might be wrong. I... I was wrong before. About Kaede. That's why I need everyone's help. I don't care if my detective work is wrong. I want to hear your argument. <laughs> Reaching the truth together is what cooperation means to me. I'm getting my other headphone out just in case we're gonna have to do a, time, a fucking rhythm game with her soon. <laughs> <laughs> Sumugi, please. Sumugi, please! What's the matter? You can't argue back after hearing that. Whoa, hold on. Whoa. I did not. I got interrupted. Yeah, I'm getting interrupted a lot in this trial. I've got. I gotta say, there's a lot of people with different stakes, and by that I mean the Monocubs. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and Monocubs. I don't know what's going on right now, but just hold on a sec. Oh, Monosuke's infamous impatience rears its ugly head. And what an ugly head it is. Come on, let's move on. I, I don't think friends should blame each other like this, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, this, this, this is yeah. uncouth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> friends turning on friends? What is this shit? <laughs> what? Come on, smile, everyone. I know we can watch a comedy special so we can Boom. all smile. No, I did not get interrupted by that. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> it happened. Jeez, you're noisy. <sighs> Uh, uh, it's the bad luck uh, one. Oh no. Father, why? You loved Monosuke so much. Oh yeah, you're right. But we're at the good part now. <laughs> I love this more than my children. <laughs> Significantly. <laughs> so be quiet and watch like good little cubs. But interesting. Father? Yeah, that was... Monokuma's like, I need you to not interrupt. Thank you. That was Continue, very interesting. Children. 
Because most of the time, Mon Monokuma's like, kids, time to intervene. Yeah, and but now, here it's like, no, 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 this, no, no. Is, this is fun stuff. I need the kids to not talk. That's spooky. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> See? It's getting exciting. Like, this is just juicy shit. Shuichi is trying to reveal the mastermind, trying to overcome despair. It's so heart-pounding! We have the mastermind cornered. Why is Monokuma so calm? He should be feeling cornered as well. Forget it. We're on the offensive here. Ah, uh, no. Trust your instincts, Shuichi. Something's off. If we make the mastermind's identity clear, all of this will be settled. I gotta pick now! I mean... Yeah... Well, now I'm doubting, it but... <laughs> you. That's just because of Monokuma. Oh. Mastermind of this killing game. And the culprit who killed Rantaro. It's you, Sunugi. There are no other possibilities. You don't have anything to say? A anything to say? Even if you keep saying all that stuff, I still don't get it. Hey, let's stop this already. You're mistaken. Because we're all friends, right? She's like not making any argument or anything. She's just kind of talking in circles. Mm -hmm. Weren't we going to work together to end this killing game? This is a class trial. Although we were forced into these class trials by the Mastermind, that's how we survived. It was the only way. It was the only way we could survive. So please, Tsumugi, refute the evidence. Say something. Your life depends on it. Please. Please just try. Mm-hmm. Tsumugi, I don't want to suspect you. I want to believe in you. I want the Mastermind to be somewhere else, like in the previous Killing Games. If you're really not the Mastermind, then don't give up! I'll cheer you on! E even if you say that... <laughs> Samugi is taking her sweet time! But waiting around is so boring! Hey, Shuichi! Why don't we look over the case again? <laughs> Mon hey, Monokuma. What? Come on, that's like your thing. Present the truth and end this. Because there are people who don't know what the heck is going on until we get to this part. Now then, let's start. What are we doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, wait, hold on. I can't pause. I can't pause it. No, nope, we going. gotta go. Oh, we gotta okay. go. We gotta. We have a closing argument to do. Oh God, what are my what are my options? What's here? It, you only have two. I have the people in the dining hall and the mastermind peeks out. Okay, um, so is that? Let's see. The mastermind peeks out like here, right? Hmm. With the shot put ball. Yes. Yeah, I yes. think so. Is that what is present? Is this one? There you go. Okay. And then the people in the dining hall are either earlier or later. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, it's probably this one. Yeah. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. And now we have two more. And we've got this one. This is... Survivor perk. Shuichi, Shuichi runs. runs. Survivor perk. Uh, this is After it's up. being taken. Yeah. Taking the survivor perk. So that's here. This one. Shuichi runs before it's like the beginning. Yeah, and then this is Rantaro lured by the camera. There. Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. No, it's no. not, I guess. It's oh, here. it's, yeah, yeah, it's one back. Sorry. Yep. Um, and then, what's this one? Rantaro, right that's above Rantaro's that head. One. That's yeah. this one. Okay, fine. Uh huh. Um, 
This one, hidden passageway to the bathroom, and then Chibi Chibi runs. Hidden passageway to the bathroom. What uh, connects? I think it's the this one. Oh, yes, uh, this one. Yep. And then this one is, can you, this is the shot yes. football. And then Shuichi Runs, I think, is like the first panel. Yeah, this is like the shortest comic ever. Sure is. Yeah, Monokuma's Whoa. rushing us along, huh? This is the truth of the okay. case. Okay. I might be wrong. Maybe it's not. This new evidence. Let's look back at Rantaro's murder. <laughs> Maybe it's not Samugi. But she's not saying it, like... She's not fighting, she's not refuting, she's not saying anything. But we've already just proven that things can be proven wrong. I don't know. I'm all, I'm all jumbled up now. Thanks, Monokuma. <laughs> well, things are feeling off, I think, you like, know. Everything feels wrong. Yeah. The night of the incident, Kaede and I were in the first floor classroom. We were waiting for the mastermind to trigger the trap we set in the library. Around that time, there were four people in the dining hall, including the mastermind. The mastermind was probably irritated that no murders had yet occurred. After the motive was given, they knew that Kaede was planning something. But the mastermind wanted some insurance. They would take action if necessary. The mastermind excused himself from the dining hall and went to the bathroom. I like this top panel art here with the, bye, oh, I gotta go. Yeah, like, no, it's, it's, it's there's a lot of character packed into that panel. Yeah, it's very good. And from there to the hidden room in the library that only the mastermind could enter. And there they waited. With less than an hour before the time limit expired, Rantaro moved the library's bookcase, which set off the receiver I was holding. It all happened the way we determined in the first trial, except at the end. I ran out of the room, and Kaede rolled the shot put ball into the air vent. At the same time, Rantaro was lured by the flash of the hidden camera Kaede set. He unwittingly stepped right into the path of the shot. And then it missed. Yep, it, it goes. <laughs> this beautiful Rube Goldberg machine that then just did not work. Yeah. That's the, the shot the music rolled is down going. the path Kaede made. And then. Just landed next to him. Fell right onto Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. Or so we thought. It turns out that was just what the mastermind wanted us to believe. In reality, Kaede's murder plan happened quite differently. New Act 5. <laughs> That's fun. Clunk. <laughs> the shot put ball that Kaede rolled didn't actually hit Rentaro. He must have been surprised seeing the shot put ball drop out of nowhere like that. Like, what the fuck was that? All this art of Rantaro is very good, it's too. It's excellent, I agree. Yeah. But his fate was sealed. The mastermind saw that Kaede's plan failed and stepped in to finish the job. The little glasses on the no. mastermind shadow. Ugh. The mastermind jumped yeah. out of the hidden room and attacked Rantaro from behind. I saw this in an anime once. I'm sorry. <laughs> God. And in their hand, the real murder weapon, their own shot put ball. Yeesh. I mean, this did happen. So, um, like, the mastermind killed Rantaro, Rantaro like this. By Seems like it, yep. Yeah. But by the masterminds. 
the mastermind picked up Coyote's shot and left their shot put ball at the scene. They also looted the survivor perk monopad from Rantaro's body. Those things in hand, they retreated back into the hidden room. I remember seeing the bookcase closing just as Kaede and I got there. That's true, yeah. The mastermind had probably just finished their crime. Gosh, the, the, the margin for error here. I know. And so, the real truth was perfectly hidden from us. We went to the class trial and reached the truth that Kaede was the culprit. But that truth had been twisted by the mastermind. Man, truth and lies! Yep. Woof. All the way down. After the yeah. murder, the mastermind left the stolen monopad on the table in the hidden room. <laughs> I think something just disconnected. Yeah, yeah I don't know what she unplugged. There. I heard a... I heard a... A boom. I don't know what was unplugged. We'll find out together. Okay. A little careless of them to not get rid of all the evidence. They probably believed no one would ever get into that room, but we did. Seems like it wasn't the controller, and that's what matters. The controller's fine. Their crime complete, the mastermind went back through the hidden passageway. The passageway led from the hidden room all the way to... The girls' bathroom on the first floor. Mm-hmm. While the mastermind was pretending to use the girls' bathroom, they were actually using the hidden passageway. That's how they moved around without being noticed. Anyone could have used the hidden passageway, not just the people in the dining hall. But looking at the survivors, only you could possibly be the mastermind. Peeking out. Hey, Smoogs. Hi, Smoogs. If I'm wrong, please refute me. You do have the villain tenderly hair. <laughs> if it's true, if it it's also true. is very funny to me that in the first trial you were like, I think it's Samoogi. <laughs> <laughs> I think she could do murder. I did. Literally from moment one, you're like, I think you've done a crime. I did. I smell it on you. I did. I did. So if it's true, that's pretty funny. Wow. I did, like, from the beginning, I did say that. Wow, what the hell? If it's true. Truly the definition of big if true. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell us you aren't the mastermind. Tsumugi Shirogane, the ultimate cosplayer. I'm not going to, like, celebrate my call until I have been, I have... It, it's been proven That's in front of me. Well, especially because even Shuichi's like killing game itself, right? Well, Tsumugi. Tsumugi? Yeah, right? he's like, well, what? <laughs> it's you, right? Right? It's you, right? You're not saying anything. Uh, all the evidence is pointing to you right now. Please tell me I'm wrong. I have been wrong before. Mm -hmm. Like, please, like, I I need you to participate in this, and she hasn't yet. Well, what? What a scorching hot twist! My hand holding the detonator is tensing up! D don't get tense! C -c calm down! Daddy! Please stop this! Go back to how you used to be! When you loved us so, so much! How I used to be was more suited to a different story than this one! <laughs> That's a very, like, I don't know. A pointed little line there, too, I feel like. Potentially. Potentially. Huh? Basically, your story doesn't matter. I gotta watch this exciting development! <laughs> yeah, I guess that. That's also fair. Well, Tsumugi, are there any flaws in Shuichi's logic? If so, then please tell us. The flaws? There's a bunch of flaws all over it. Then explain. Y you can do it! You can do it, Smoogie! Even if you cheer me on, 
T tell, tell us we're wrong. Tell us we're wrong right now. Please. It's not like that. I didn't do it. It's plain to see. Fight back, Samugi. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Daddy, you're tensing up again. I still want to live, so please don't push the button. What? Thank you. <laughs> Something reconnected. Something reconnected. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that was. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Tsumugi, please just say something. If you don't defend yourself... It's Junko and Oshima! Fascinating! <laughs> okay. This is what I was... <laughs> Fascinating, Smoogs. If, if, if it was Junko and Oshima, but it was actually done via Samugi, you know, cosplaying... Because, because Junko and Oshima isn't real. Well, but that well, that's word for word what I was about to say. If she can cosplay Junko and Oshima, then Junko and Oshima isn't real. Correct. So correct. Like, and like she can't cosplay dead people, right? Has that been confirmed or I don't denied? Think she's tried. I don't know. I don't know if she's tried or talked about it or anything. She may. She may have talked about it. I don't remember. I don't remember either. If like. If a, a a dead person can be cosplayed, but I'm gonna, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> a, a, fiction, a fictional we'll see. person, perhaps. What? Yeah. What? What do you? What do you mean? What do you mean? Elaborate. Cause it's always been her. It's mm -hmm. always been her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Smoogie. <laughs> I would love it if she pulls a terror terror. Yeah. <laughs> Her whole accent just changes. I'm sorry, I don't know what it was about that line. That line, yeah. it had a little southern drawl to it. <laughs> just like a little bit. In the Hope's Peak killing game, and in the Jabberwock Island killing game, Junko and Oshima didn't participate. She controlled the game from outside. Even if it's boring or repetitive, she's always the mastermind, isn't she? Then it's like that this time, too. It's gotta be Junko again. Junko and Oshima is dead. She's not part of this killing game. Y you're wrong. She hasn't been eliminated. She's... It's all Junko's doing. This killing game is her doing too. What? Hey, where were you about to get at there, huh? What were you about to say? Yeah, that's gotta be it. Cause Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is... Cause Junko and Oshima is... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Junko and Oshima is... The hand on the <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Daddy, please don't get so excited. <laughs> you pressed the button by accident. Look at our cute faces. Can you really bear to be without us? Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is what? <laughs> Truly! <laughs> I was like, ah! <laughs> Okay, time for a commercial break. <sighs> no, it isn't! See? We're a good comedy group, too! So please, don't- Bye! Oh, well, both of them. Done. Cause... Junko and Oshima is... Junko... and Oshima is... Right the fuck here! What? <laughs> It's her! It's her! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. It's her, like, it's just, it, there has to be. Right? <sighs> all right, all right. What's up, girl? What's <laughs> going? I don't trust you. <laughs> it's not you. <laughs> it's not, though. I don't think. Or like, like I said before, like a while back, if like, if she's the ultimate cosplayer and she just becomes who she cosplays, then, you know, if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C, you know? Then then she is Junko and Oshima. But yeah. again, like I said, that means that she's not real. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> what, what you are suggesting is an unbelievable can of worms. <laughs> it's, 
it does solve the question in front of us, but it opens up like 40 more. Right? So, you know, I, 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 well, let's see, I guess. Okay, all right. Yeah, it does. You know, like, that doesn't really solve any problems. That's that, so much messier. That creates like four more. Even if nobody was waiting. Even if it makes you go, what, again? The diva of despair takes the stage once more. Junko Enoshima, the 53rd. The 53rd? What? New ultimate despair. <laughs> there you have it. Once again, the mastermind is Junko Enoshima. What the fuck? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna make some other theories here. Can I theorize? Is that yeah, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's okay, go, okay. let's go, let's go. Something else I had said a while back too is that how many iterations away from Juko Enoshima being Juko Enoshima is it still Junko Enoshima? Do you know what I mean? So you think this is a copy of a copy of a copy of a transcript of a floppy disk of, of the a, new world program Jun of a Junko? personality of an upload of a version of her of a you know like how deep can you go to where the cosplayer can then become this entity do you know what i mean okay so like so, but she still would be have been real yes so in so that case that, that only that only works if she can cosplay dead people right which either, is a fact we don't have right either she can i i, I see where i see you know exactly I mean? yeah, no 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 i'm i completely am following your logic but it does still hinge on like she still would have existed. Sure, she still would Unless have. Unless she's cosplaying like that thing where somebody has an OC of a character who is a real character in an anime, but then they've drifted so far that it's like, no, this isn't Edward Elric. This is Kyle Her Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> the, the voice actor. The voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant, but you know what I mean. I mean <laughs> <laughs> this is Kyle that, Elrond. You know like, what? I'm yeah. gonna actually say it. this isn't Edward Elric. This is Jade from Tales of the Abyss. <laughs> totally not the same character. <laughs> um. Right, you're right. Yeah, I no, I see what you mean. Basically, what I'm saying is like the concept of the idea of Junko Enoshima. Can you become that? You know what I mean? Like, if she is eternal, if she is so like yeah, it is. I. It, it does look like her though. It looks like her. It looks like her. It talks like her. It walks like her. Yeah. So like. It, so, it, but but interesting. I, I I see what you're talking yeah. about. Yes, I think that's an interesting concept. That basically, I'm trying to rationalize how we could make this work within the world where Junko Enoshima is real. Yes. You know. Yes. I'm gonna say, uh, you know. Back burner that she's not real. Uh, Dunk Rumble one and two never actually happened. We all just played the video game together. Um, hold, hold that thought for a second. If it's all within the same universe and continuity, is there a way that it still makes sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. In no, like, I follow. In like the idea that you know this entity, this this figure, like that is Junko, has basically made herself immortal in how she can persist as an idea and a concept. I'm so sorry. Your dog is being I'm very cute. I'm so sorry. I am listening. I really, I really <laughs> genuinely am. I'm just grinning sillily because you have a very cute dog in your lap. She's being very cute She's right now. She's being really cute. I'm so sorry. Yes, no, I, I, think it, I think it's an interesting question of like, it would make sense if this is uh, Smoogie cosplaying Junko, okay, what circumstances have to be true in order to enable that? Right. And so looking at, you know, the different variants, I think that's a good exercise. Yeah, I just wanted to, I, I, I'm just gonna try and play for a sec. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but let's let it play out because I'm sure everyone's gonna be like, what, Junko, oh, there she is. Like, she's right here. <laughs> you stop bonking the mic there, sweetheart. No, she likes it. I know, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Her little head. Ah! She's so cute. To, she's very You have to cute. take a picture of her so I can put it in the video. I will try. She's now scratching her butt, so yeah, like it's not as cute. That's fair. Uh, Baby. Look at the yes. little. There's, oh. There she is. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh puppy. He's so cute. I can't read, I read, I read, all, right, all right, we had to. Uh, sorry, uh, we just had a major revelation. I know this, this is more. <laughs> this is more this, important. This is like not what we should be like discussing. Yeah, absolutely right now. not. But. Okay, yeah, let's play the game. Let's okay. play the game. Let's play the okay. game. It's the classic laugh! That, yep. That one felt good. That one did feel good. Go and the 
53rd. The 53rd. Samugi, what's the matter? Aren't you Samugi Shirogane? Our friend who survived with us? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. You can go ahead and forget about Samugi Shirogane. Because I'm just a character. You know, a lie. So we're saying Samugi's the character here. Okay. Sorry to all her fans out there. If any of you even exist, that is. A, a lie? Samugi Shirogane was nothing more than a cover for me, the mastermind. This is weird. <laughs> oh, calling her your friend? Ugh, it's laughable, really. Really? I'm gonna laugh. Are you serious? You're the mastermind behind this? But why? That face and that voice! It's just like... Junko and Oshima! I know, right? Oh, does it make you fall into despair? <laughs> well, does it? She's like not behaving quite right, I feel like. No. Not well, she's kind of only doing one of her bits. Best. Yeah, that's the thing. Why did you call yourself the 53rd? I would like to see the other bits. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yep. As history repeats itself, so does Junko and Ashima. That's like kind of, but not really. Well, this is her doing the Samugi bit. That's yeah. 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 As you can see, I am a perfect reproduction of Junko and Ashima. So, you're just a freak pretending to be Junko and Ashima, huh? <laughs> Continue. No, a perfect reproduction. Perfect reproductions are exactly the same as the original. Her logic is impossible to follow, much like the real Junko and Ashima's. Whatever it is, you're the actual mastermind of this killing game, right? So if we kill you, then that'll be the end, correct? Say mean things like that. Besides, killing me never ends the game. It never ends the game? What do you mean? She's bluffing. Let's just kill her and get it over with. Wait, if force is necessary, it should wait until after we see what she... No need, Kivo, because this class trial is over. What? It's already over? Oh, but I just showed up! You killed Kaede, and Monokuma covered it up with a false narrative. The class trials are rigged, and this whole game is illegitimate. Yeah, it's like, I don't really care who you are. Yeah, let's not lose track of what we just proved. Yeah, like, you you rigged the game, and we can't, like, none of this... Yeah, go get executed it. and let us out. Yeah. Oh, that. Right. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Sorry about that. So? Oh. Uh. So? Is that all you have to say? The viewers won't accept that kind of apology. You gotta stop the killing game! Huh? The viewers? Why'd you say that? Um, it seems like you're on the wrong track, so let me explain. Okay, so first, I'll start with the event that inspired me to plan this killing game. That was about the time the meteorite impact started intensifying. Did she just start some big story on her own? <laughs> I knew of Hope's Peak Academy's gopher project, and my inner Junko told me... Crushing the gopher project, humanity's last hope, would be the perfect despair. That's when I took over the killing game I devised. You ha like, you're like a super fan, right? Like, is that where we're going with this? I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. I don't know. No, you're still op you're still talking about the, the meteorites the gopher and project the gopher project narrative kill like situation, which I if we I don't think is right. And then I took the name Sumugi Shirogane and sneaked in among them. Did Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he a remnant of despair? I 
thought you already knew that he wasn't. Does she not? He was your comrade, right? Sure, well, she should, but also. Comrade. Eh. Junko Enoshima doesn't have comrades. It's like you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? The remnants of despair are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. But I am despair itself. This is weird. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> I. It's like a Junko impression. Yeah. Yeah. Which if it, I think it might be because. Yeah. I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one of my believers. No, he, but he wasn't, though. A god wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? Hey, Shuichi, can you jump in for a sec? I think Shuichi's just letting her talk for a while. Yeah, moment. like, okay, I'm gonna let this happen. Yeah, what's the harm in letting her talk? Yeah. Then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. Ooh, what a hopeless existence he led. To the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. She's just making shit up! I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. She's making shit up. Okay, okay. Who's this killing game being shown to? Where are the survivors of humanity? There's nobody watching. Huh? We were the last 16 people alive, you know? Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. No, you're lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? Right? I mean, care about the rules, but then you actually don't care about the rules because you've broken the rules from the beginning. The rules mean nothing. But they covered up that they broke the rules but at the beginning. I too, know. So yeah. So they do mean something because you you broke. You know, it's like you lied to your viewers and your stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, <sighs> you're the one who keeps talking about making the game interesting. For whom? That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. Oh, no. There, there's, like, truly no Junko Enoshima. There is not. You're what? I just perfectly reproduced my own killing game is all. Just like the old Junko. The original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. You just wanted to recreate the past killing game. That's it? Yep, that's it. There are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recalled. That is the truth of the Ultimate Academy killing game! No, that's wrong! Yeah! Yeah, Kishuichi's like, and you're done. Okay, that's enough. Okay, yeah, enough of that. You can stop talking now. Oh dear! I am so surprised! Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? Exactly. There, uh, so much of what you just said, Samugi, like, we have already, like, disproven. Like, she just started just saying shit. <laughs> like, I, thought, I can imagine she was just sitting there and being like, uh, uh, what? I'm having a really fun time just watching you get more and more incensed about it. She's like, you're, she's just lying. The audacity. How, how can she just come in here and lie? Do you think people would do that? <laughs> the trial grounds and tell <laughs> lies? Tell lies? <laughs> uh. But like, super bald face, like, straight up, we have already talked about this lie. Well, but then when she got contradicted, she's like, oh my, I'm so surprised. Oh my god. You know? Like, what <laughs> the fuck? Oh my god. I'm starting to get mad. I know, <laughs> I'm watching it happen, it's really funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you mean by that? You think your memories are wrong? Yeah! Hey, Junko and Ashima so the 53rd, I'd like to see one other place. aspect of you, please. Yes. I'm just I want the mushroom one. Give me the mushroom. Give me, give me the, the mushroom one. Eh, like little cute one. Or, yeah. the, or the analyst lady. Oh, yeah. She's not doing it. The, the, the low voiced analyst lady is my favorite one. I love the low voiced analyst. <laughs> like, the cute little meow one is pretty cute too. That one's pretty good. Uh, Yeah, I just. just Or like the. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
motherfuckers. Yeah, pussy. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's not true. I'd love one of those, please. <laughs> Dealer's choice, whichever one you want to give me. <laughs> right? Like, just if you're so like read up on you know Junko and Ashima lore, lore. yeah <laughs> uh, you would present us with the other facets of Junko mm -hmm, and Ashima mm -hmm. please I'm begging in fact you. if you really were up to date you know she always adds one additional one for each new showing so. exactly <clears throat> so I guess this time it's the smoogie one but it, still. yeah but she's not showing anyone else nope. so I don't buy it I don't <laughs> buy it for a second which means it's just fucking it's just Samugi! It's like, that's yeah, what I mean. Then, then it's just Samugi. It's just Samugi playing a character. Yep. But what does that mean? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Look at this book. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Many photographs. Complete history of Hope's Peak Academy? Can you please get into what you were like, oh, I knew it. It's like, what you were talking this about? This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate, but there's a lot written in here that differs from our memories. What is different? Tell me. To know that for certain, I'll need everyone's help. I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Okay. Um... So it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring wars and terrorism around the world. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought despair to all mankind. And it was all caused by a single high school girl. Yeah, it was me! Junko Enoshima enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. But my real identity was the ultimate despair. I'm skipping over one of them, but that's okay. And the analyst. Yep. But it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's like <laughs> she was actually the ultimate analyst, and then she was sort of like the self described ultimate despair. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Yeah. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans. Stop talking. Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. Huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory banks. Yes. Everything we just said is just like we remember it. But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. I'll determine exactly why later. For now, I need to identify the discrepancy. So you gotta play Spot the Difference! Point out what everyone is mistaken about in their memories of Hope's all right, time to play some Danganronpa trivia. We got you on this one. What the fuck? We're here uh, for this. Oh my god. Okay, huge question. What if you never played any of the other Danganronpa games? I, as all my brother's friends haven't. That's exactly what I was thinking. You're just of. gonna have to go for the best. I think it's written in the document what the different what, what oh, the problem is. I see. Okay. I'm here for some Danganronpa yeah. trivia, though. Holy shit. Let me tell you, I've been. We got the one thing. History the of Hope's Peak. Most awful, most tragic event in human history. I'm chewing on that this shit for a while. Hope's Peak Academy, inspiring war and terrorism around. I would like to see what this says, actually. Do you mind if I read through? Yeah, this? go for it. Found in the Ultimate Supreme. Le Maybe we already did read this. We did. Uh, af the afterward, it's like okay, yeah, you actually you're right. We did read this last episode. Yeah. Hope's Academy did not admit students by application. The only way to be admitted was by being scouted. Yeah, I if, think in my mind, might... there's a couple things this could be. It's like they're they're conflating the the, the 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 worst event in Hope's Peak history and the biggest, most awful, most terrible you know event all the humankind or whatever. They're conflating those a bit, but whatever, that's fair. Yeah, they're um, they're messing they're mis mixing up the tragedy of Hope's Peak and the tragedy of humanity. Exactly. She she said she enlisted in Hope's Peak, which is not correct. You can't en enroll. You, you, you get, get scouted. You get picked. Yeah. yeah. Um, it seems like it's probably the... I mean, they also were like, those. it was all a single girl. 
technically it was two. Yeah, it's like it, it, all of slash these are three, like slash yeah, four. exactly. Yeah. It's like all of these are like uh, <laughs> slash it's close enough, I guess. The the Kamakura project. There's all sorts of exactly. Shit there's happening. a lot. This gets fuzzy. So let's see. Let's see what they actually say. Ultimate despair can refer to both the group and the events caused by Junko and Ashima. I mean, that's kind of true. Okay. Yeah. Found the world. Cause of all that despair was just a single high school girl. I think that, that one's funky. A that is funky. Of Hope's Peak Academy. The ultimate despair, Junko and Ashima. I did everything in my power to spread despair over the entire world. Okay, I don't think it's that one. I think it's a single high school. Yeah, girl. that one feels the most wrong. Because, there. because it has been brought up multiple times by Samugi that Junko had a twin. And don't you remember? Well, it's like, also like, are they, you know, are they I mean? also arguing that that ultimate despair, like all the, you know, all the reserve students and all that didn't have a role in it? Right. I don't know. Like, that's why I'm like, I'm not entirely sure which. That statement is incorrect. I'm not sure the way in which they want it to be incorrect, I'm clear on. It's- Cause it could be like four different things. It might actually be any of those. Yeah. I could maybe shoot any of those and it might work. That, yeah, it's possible. You know? Yeah. Because the history of Hope Speak is such a big chunky piece of evidence. It could apply to all of those. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try single high school girl. I yeah, let's do single high school. That one feels the most obviously incorrect. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. Oh, I think I missed. Am I missing? Yes. Back! Because <laughs> it didn't say the. Didn't, what? I was wrong? It didn't move. Yeah. Down. Okay. I think that's a weird hitbox. I'm going to say that you were in the right on that one. Thanks. The cause of all that was just a single high school girl. No. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I ran out of help. It's just like. That was so bad. <laughs> oh my god! It's like you're witch time dodging it. You're like you're like last minute parry dodging the, the thing. Get it? <laughs> what is it? You're at that because you're at the end of the game. I'm sorry. Why is this one hard? Just lead your shot. <laughs> you're shooting on the other side. It's moving that way. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Single high school. Yes, well done. <laughs> Every once in a while, remind me to leave my shot. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> because otherwise, I'm just gonna chase it like a fucking dog <laughs> chasing after garbage truck. The ultimate despair, Junko Inoshima. It's not correct. No, she had a sister. Least, that's what I remember, but that's not what this book. And says. also, Izuru. And Who may or may not have done anything. And Mithurai. And the other characters in there. And the, the, and the ultimate fucking, despair. The whole the class. And the teacher. And the psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah, like, and, fucking. <laughs> and, like, the Kamakura project. Oh, there's so much yeah, shit. Yeah, and Jin Kirigiri. And Kirigiri. <laughs> like, there's so much yeah. shit. <laughs> ultimate despair doesn't just refer to Junko Inoshima. But I think they're just going to be like, it's anyway, whatever. It doesn't sure. matter. It refers to a group and the movement that came after. To put it simply, there's more to ultimate despair than Junko Inoshima. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the first time I've heard about this. Wasn't Junko the ultimate despair? The ultimate despair. That was colloquial. Yeah. Colloquial. And like what we originally in the first game discover the quote unquote ultimate despair to be is the pair. Yeah. Is Junko and Mukuro. Yeah, and then the knock on effect of everything that came afterwards. Everything's yeah, no, like, yeah. Yeah. That's what I recall as well. That label should only apply to her. Yeah. I, I mean, transparently, I think what they're kind of saying here is that like the meta perception of Junko and Danganronpa is that like Junko is it. Yeah. And the reality is what we, is the joke we just made, which right. is like, it's actually like 40 different people yes. and also, uh, you know, millions of people. And like, it's a whole, th it's a whole thing. This is such a fun little meta commentary of Duncan Rumpa on itself. Yeah. To be like, hey player. It's like, it's not just Junko. You thought it was just Junko <laughs> yeah. the whole time? No, like, at, no. And I love that. Mm -hmm. I love it. I like kind of throwing it into the player's face. 
and being like, why you're, did you- uh, Double check your memory real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah have- what, like, Yeah, double check your memory, have some media literacy. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah too. Just, cause, just because Junko's fun to cosplay doesn't mean she's all it boils down to. Right, exactly. Yeah. Oh man, I have thoughts. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. Are they, are they gonna call this like it? Well, no, you made up the fucking memories with the flashback <laughs> lights. Let's move on. Coincidence? Misremembered? No, you. <laughs> no, it's no coincidence. I know there's a difference in these memories. We found evidence of that. And that's not all. There are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Ugh, does it even matter? I'm bored already. Just shut up. So, let's continue where we left off. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. The killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. They were locked up and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. But boo-hoo! When I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. You didn't die. Well, she did. Well, I mean, at the very end of it. Yeah, that's yes. my, that might be what she's talking about. That's We're not fair. sure yet. Yeah. And the world began to move towards restoration. Then the fight between the future foundation and the remnants of despair raged on. The worst case scenario was avoided. Yay! A happy ending. Not yet. There are more points that conflict with the history. I'll point that those out next. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, all Sa right. Same truth bullet. Yep. It's a big, awful, thick book. Tragic event in human history. <laughs> Just throw in the book at it. Yeah. Yeah. Over and over again. Ways of spreading despair. It's it's us constantly opening up to another page and be like, No. Ah, <laughs> Do right you see? Do you see? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Like the killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair. They weren't and really held into prisoner. The killing game. Well, I guess kind they, of. They, they, were. they willingly locked oh, themselves I in, but they were held prisoner afterwards. That. Yeah. The events that my death set in motion are only now reaching their climax. So the remnants of despair in the Future Foundation are still fighting. But for now, we've avoided the worst of it. That went so fast. That went so fast. It's different from our memories after all. What's the contradiction? The biggest Sorry, can you look at the thing I'm again? I just want to know the yeah. wording. Um, uh, I'm going down here. Let's see. Okay. The ultimate despair plotted the killing game. Yeah, it's the, they were held prisoner. You were right. That's it specifically, because we knew they, they did it deliberately. No, they locked themselves in. Yeah. They, they were... They were hunkering down, but that was ultimately part of Junko's plan. Yes. Was for them to- And they, they like eventually were trapped there. Yes. But it was by their own doing. Yes. Yeah. yeah they locked themselves in. The most tragic event in human history. It's prepared countless with This is sort of a semantics thing, but also yeah. we don't- There's like their specific memories of it that probably contradict it. Prisoner by the ultimate there. No! V-Spot! V-Spot! We got it. It wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped the 78th class in Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah, the the faculty, or you know, like the, the head of Hope's Peak was like, lock them up, mm -hmm. hide it them was in there. The class themselves. Yeah, they shut themselves in. Shut themselves in? Why would they shut themselves in? It has to do with the Hope's Peak Academy shelter project. During the tragedy. The 78th class trapped themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. So our memory of the 78th class being trapped by the ultimate despair? Are you saying our memories are wrong? It just means those documents were written all half-assed. There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all correct. What you've been saying isn't consistent. First, you said it was just coincidence. Huh. Is that so? Let's just move on. 
I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. What about Hope's Peak Academy? There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. No, you weren't, though. Y'all are just people. You're just kids. You have no talent. <laughs> <laughs> You're just... Except for Mew. Mew's talented. Mew, you are actually You're a little girl kids. genius. You have no talent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, just devastating. <laughs> I mean, you have, you're talented. You're talented. But, but you do not have a talent. You're not a super high school level. Anything. Ultimate anything. <laughs> I mean. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you're just kids. You have no talent. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? All the kids watching? Yeah. <laughs> you're basic. You're normal. Oh, a bunch of normies up in here. Ugh. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Accepting Peak applications Academy for what? Large, we were all in separate classes. That doesn't, like, make any... Yeah, so... Uh, come on, Shuichi, you gotta know that's wrong. But there's no doubt we were students of the new school. Mm -mm. Just like I thought, there's something wrong here. It's gotta be so scary. Right? To, yeah. like, come to the realization that everything you thought is fake. <sighs> is not real. Can you imagine that? That's no, like, awful. like whatever Shuichi's going through, I, I straight up can't fathom it. Yeah. Like, it's scary. Yeah. Yeah. And especially to be the one to be like, Oh, no. no that's not right. Yeah. But why? Yeah. Why are our memories so different? Another one, another one. This one This is, one we know. Yeah. This one's easy. Yep. 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 Throw that book at Kibo! The Academy was rebuilt. And with that... Danganronpa trivia! Talented student. I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. We don't recruit. No applications are taken. remember Hope's Peak Academy taking applications from talented students. But that's not what's written here. The Academy did not take applications. All of their students were scouted. Scouted? I've never heard that. I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope Speak Academy on my own. Me too. I chose to come to Hope Speak. At least, that's what I remember. Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? I suppose it might be different because they haven't had these memories for all that long. I yeah. don't know. But I mean, but do, you know yeah. do you know any different? Do you know any different if you it's like that's your memory, so you assume that that's what you did. No, absolutely. I mean, it's more just like they didn't have that memory until the flashback light like a week ago. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that that's all I meant by I that. See yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. No, again, two two possible things here. Fake school. Like, yeah, or, you know, it's all, all the memories are fake. It was just written and shot into our brains by, by, you know, flashbacky remembery lights or whatever that technology is. Mm -hmm. Um, and like, like, none of these were student, none of these kids were students anywhere at any place. They were just kids that were either re like re kidnapped or volunteered to participate in whatever this is that's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but Those are what options. What if this book's mm -hmm. just wrong? Researchers make mistakes too. Maybe so, but I'm not getting all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. Other what? Yeah. <laughs> the killing game we're in now is one that began with Hope's Peak Academy. So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock Island. But remember what Rantaro said? He won another killing game. Mm -hmm. Well, the truth is, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. But Rantaro's name wasn't listed among the past participants of the game. He was not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. Then, which killing game did Rantaro participate in? 
I'm not entirely sure, but it's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? And the inconsistencies don't stop there. Kokichi's account is also suspect. Kokichi's account is inconsistent too? Oh, an inconsistency? Do tell. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair. But he's not. But I don't think that's true. He wasn't a remnant of despair. He wasn't a remnant of despair? I guess he hasn't revealed this to everybody yet? No. I thought for sure he had. Wow, I'm misremembering too. Look at that. <laughs> What's going on? That's impossible. He was definitely a remnant of despair. Did we not? Or did he just... He, should we, we as the viewer and Shuichi together were just like... Yeah, have we, reached a conclusion that has not been universally accepted okay. up to this point. Okay, okay. The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher Project. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair, then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. Yes, he loved me more than anyone. Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. You're just making shit up. So where's your proof he wasn't a remnant of despair? Cubs pad. Yep. The proof that Kokichi isn't a remnant of despair? His motive video. Where is it? Yeah, it's right there. Kokichi's motive video. It's right at easy. the top. <laughs> wow. It was just like, here you go. Fucking easy street here. The motive video we found in Kokichi's dorm room. He was part of DICE. Mm-hmm. Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. He caused mayhem the world over as the leader of the secret organization, DICE. And by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. Anyway, Kokichi had ten loyal goons working for him. Those goons were like friends and family, the most important people in his life. An organization centered around petty crimes, one that forbids murder. And in addition to that, the group was only 10 people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher Project. This is wild. Tear it all down! <laughs> Meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of is not the remnants of despair. It had nothing to do with them. His motive video clearly contradicts our memories. The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. You mean he wasn't a remnant of despair? That's not possible. Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. But it's still not possible. Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback light. Right, right, right. That was the thing. Yep. Is that he was super confused at the time and Shuichi was noticing it. Well, and also as well. Kaito, technically. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, it, it's more like Kokichi's notes were not good because, yeah. Yeah, and like... Yeah, neither of them could react with the Exosol. Yeah, I yeah. guess neither is was Kaito. Uh, but but, Kaito but when Maki the, uh, threatened Kokichi, Kokichi's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And neither was Kaito. Mm-hmm. Which is the important one. Yep. When they were talking with him, yeah. Jungo? Yeah. Hmm. Hope? Despair? Yeah, he had no idea what's going Kaito on. didn't appear to know anything about the remnants of despair or Junko Inoshima. If they'd been exposed to it, maybe we'd know the truth. But they weren't. That's the point that Shuichi's making. You all were exposed to the flashback light. Mm hmm. Therefore, what you're remembering from the flashback light isn't real. Maybe it's better that they weren't. Yeah, it actually helps our case that they didn't have the flashback light exposure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Ugh. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. What do you mean? The tiny... Yeah? <laughs> it was a cute one. All of these weird inconsistencies are from memories we got from the flashback lights. So the 
flashback lights are the cause? You found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights. Right, Shuichi? Yes. And I noticed something strange about it. You could pick I memories. actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. It allowed you to select the memory that a flashback light would recover. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. Mm -hmm. One might say there are survivors, but another would say there are no survivors. It's a little choose your own adventure memory mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you could curate it however you want it. Yep, respond to whatever's happening in the game. Yeah, but then that would inevitably lead to a whole host of inconsistencies, you know? But only if they have something to compare it to. That's true. If they don't have anything to compare it to and it's literally just like you, you're just making this narrative mm -hmm. in the killing game, then it's like, what does it matter? Yeah. Bizarre, right? The flashback lights allegedly help us recover our memories. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot, and there should only be one truth. But then having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. Then what are you saying? Huh? Mm hmm. The flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? Then what was it for? What was it for, huh? You two huh? having fun? Having yeah. a good time over there? You, you having a good time? Just kind of hanging out, letting Shuichi do his thing? Go on, tell them. What are the flashback lights for? Making fake memories. I, I will say, I absolutely loved that line read of, so what are they saying? From the bear. Just yeah. because it was so, it's like. It was it, so flat. Exactly. Flat, but like zero affect. Yeah, I just thought that was really interesting. It that was, was neat. spooky. Yeah, it was I like that a lot. Uh, so what are they saying then? Yeah. Yeah. Stop explaining and explain. Yeah. <laughs> tell me, what. tell us what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. What are the flashback lights used for? Why can you select different memories? And what does it mean if those memories contradict each other? If I put all the pieces together, it'll all make sense. Do I have to spell fake memories? Probably. We'll be able to see the real truth. Let me do it, let me do it! Hangman's Gambit, start! Yes! Uh, what could it be? Uh, flash, what, it does what to the memories? Um, uh, replace? Mm, is there an R? R E P L. Creates. A creates. Nope, there's an N. I'm just thinking. Uh, it's one word. It's mm -hmm. interesting. Da, 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 da. I gotta start shooting something. Yeah, just just pick something. Nope. It doesn't start with M. Is it a P? Uh, there's T. Is no. it an L? Or a T? I'm gonna try T. This is a T. Yeah, right that's there. a T right there. Nope. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's not great. Um. In or L? Uh, I guess. Or A? I L. I don't. What? What? A? Uh, uh. I'm say anal oh, it's not that. Uh, N, 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 maybe A? What's happening here? What am I supposed to be spelling? A. I? There's an I? There's an I right there to the right of the L. Okay, it's I. What? That I? J okay. Inserts? That I just. Insert. No, inserts. there's a P. I don't know. It just showed up. I hadn't seen an I the whole time. Sorry. No. I no? In, well, in, I in, right? Did I that, did an you N. You did an N? Yeah. Uh, Im implants. Im implants. It's implants. It's implants. Okay. <laughs> it implants memories. Yeah, sure. There's an A right there. Okay. Uh, yeah. I need an L first. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm, no. <laughs> getting ahead. I'm literally getting ahead of yeah. myself. I'm so sorry. This one was a little frustrating. Where's the T? T, T. There's T. one right there. <laughs> It implants memory. Fine. Sure. 
That's fine. That's perfectly fine. The, every time I do a Hangman's game, yes, I'm like, that's, that's fine. The flashback light isn't supposed to help us remember anything. It gives us fake memories. It's a tool for implanting false memories. Okay. <laughs> Planting memories? Yes. The memories you could select for the flashback lights weren't our real memories. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. Exactly. It's not real. Once we're exposed to a flashback light, those memories become the truth to us. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were... Not real. They were all false memories. Then who are these kids? You know what I That's mean? That's a great question. Who are they? Because now we're like, who are we? Why are we here? What do we do? None of us are Hope's Peak Academy students. Uh, uh, n like. We have no talent. We have no past. We have no, like, what are, yeah, what's going on? Is, is the world actually, has it been burned to the ground? Is the earth destroyed? Was everyone killed by viruses? What is happening? It's all, it's all fake. It's all fake. It's all fake. It's all fake. They were all lies. They were all lies. It was all set up for the game. Lies? Oh, what a the world horrible building. truth. Yeah. The memories from the flashback lights are lies. But sloppy, though. Then everything was a lie. All the suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing. Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at all. <laughs> Thanks for coming out and saying it to my face, uh -huh. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> isn't it wild that we spent so much time on that? Isn't it wild that you just spent uh, <laughs> 70 hours? Because that's been more accurate representation of probably how much we played this game. 70 hours playing this game. And yeah, it was it's like, like it's an, it was all a dream. <laughs> we all died for nothing, if they're even real, if these kids are even real. It's like, wow, wasn't that great? Well, that is what it means. Huh? Lies are just like snowballs. The more you roll them, the bigger they get. The bigger they are, the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, you know that's what I true. Mean? Like, just come out saying absolute bullshit and it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. The memories from the flashback lights were just lies? It's just as Shuichi said. The flashback lights are not for recovering lost memories. You're They're confirming. They're tools for implanting new ones. Yeah, they were getting the excited when they realized we were going to reveal this. Yeah. has been converted to light waves. That light is beamed directly into the brain, causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. We were just confused? For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy? Fake! <laughs> you guys don't have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy. Well, there it is, if you're telling the truth. Which you're probably not, but I don't think they have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy, <laughs> so I have to agree here. <laughs> <laughs> you're always lying, except for the lies that I like, and those in which case, those are the ones that are true. <laughs> except for the ones that I agree with. Yeah. yeah. None of us were ever students there. It was just a fake memory. We're not students from Hope's Peak? Yep, that was all fake. Looking back? It was a mistake to have you remember Hope's Peak. I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but... I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. You sure we're in a rush about a lot of shit for this, too. Gotta say. <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst! So that's why Kokichi had to die? <laughs> Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights. But he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. That was a lie he invented himself. He wanted to be the mastermind. 
He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied. Oh, it's me. Hi, hello again, buddy. <laughs> anyway, I gotta confess. You know that cult I mentioned earlier? The leader is me. Huh? Which means the mastermind who snuck Monokuma onto the Ark is... Me! He's just fucking lying. What, for funsies? He usurped the mastermind's role, but in doing so, became a thorn in their side. Well, no, he was trying to end the killing game. I guess that's all. Yeah, it yeah. was all for the end the killing game thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true, that's true. So to get rid of that hindrance, the mastermind played along with the lie. The mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. Just add that memory in there, you know? Bleep. Whoop. Oh, yeah, totally. Remnant of despair. Yeah, that checks out. Why not? Yep. At the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair. So we could take him out. We're like, you were using the yeah. flashback lights to control us? Then the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... You were being controlled by false memories, like putty in the mastermind's hands. But Maki wasn't the only one being controlled. You all were! Remember when Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside world? You all got so depressed, you couldn't even focus on the killing game! Wait, then, to make us recover from that, you... Yep! We gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students! The symbol of hope! So they were like, all right, we gotta, we gotta add another one in there. Yep. We, we gotta, can't have them lazing around all day. They need to think they can escape this thing. Yep, we gotta keep moving. Mm-hmm. So you all could face despair. Mm-hmm. You controlled us with that big memory? Well, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. New mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. But I guess it was fake motivation. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies! This class trial was like that too, wasn't it? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? Uh-huh. Was that also a memory you used to control us? Hey, what was it you guys remembered from it again? At first, you ran away from the Gopher Project. Humanity's last hope. Yeah, this was the... Yeah, the creating this Gopher Project storyline. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But then, you bravely chose to accept your fate. So this little fake Makoto, fake President Makoto here. Notably didn't have a voice actor, which cracked me up. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> these boys all did. The wishes of your friends and family. These fake ass boys. Yeah, these fake ass boys did. They, these are the ones that like truly ultimately did I it know, for me. I know, I know, I watched it happen. <laughs> you saw, you had them on screen for like, Two seconds, we're like, oh no. Oh, the no. last 70 hours have been a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it was remarkable. I love these. These three are my new favorite characters. <laughs> these three, like, just sort of, you know, random written up characters that were like, quick, 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 write them in. I know, these some. false facades. Yeah. <laughs> just like swap, yeah, swap them in for each, each person, but. I God. really wanted Shuichi to be to ask one of them, be like, "What? Hey, what? What were our friends' names?" Yes. Be like, <laughs> you know, remember? Remember that I had a conversation with my three friends, and then I really wanted Himiko to be like, "Oh yeah, me too." What were their names? And then they don't remember their names, mm -hmm. but they remember having the same exact conversation. Like something like that would have been really cool. But. Still, yeah. This, these, this. They super got there. Uncanny, they got there. <laughs> like they did it. They yep. absolutely did it. And this and now, shit. You remember how you got here? Like this was like. 
And like we had like we had the wrong clothes. Like there's so much wrong. Mm -hmm. He remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. You've said it a couple I times. Sorry, there you go. I'll never give up. I won't be defeated by the mastermind. You said it like a whole bunch through the entire playthrough that that the Monokuma and or the mastermind in this game feels sloppy. Yeah. 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 You, you like every once in a while they're like, but that's sloppy. And yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's like, it's not Junko. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like she's better than that because she's the ultimate analyst. Yeah. And if you're, if the mastermind is actually the ultimate cosplayer, <laughs> I know, Basil. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna trip up. Mm -hmm. Like if you're, if you're just going off of info from like the wiki, and then yeah, you're it's, it mixed this is up. writing a dong and rope game based off the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, ah, oh, it's just so funny. And like I said earlier, like the the meta commentary, if this is like addressing the player and saying like, <laughs> you thought this is how you remembered it, and it's like, no, it's all wrong. And like, how are you okay with this the whole time? Um, or maybe it's one level deeper, because. Like I've been, I I'm one of those players that has played all of Donkey Kong and I'm playing through this, being like, what the fuck is that? What the, what is this? What are you giving me right now? Mm -hmm. So, I uh, guess we'll see where where the thesis of this is going mm -hmm. and how much it's grabbing me by the throat or not. You but know do you I mean? want to see that next time? <laughs> Why would you do this? You, you teed right. me up. I did. I did teed you. You teed up. me up. And we have we. Yep. Yep. I sure did. I sure did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to find out more next time. All right, oh. I'm excited. This oh is getting God. interesting. Oh, very interesting indeed. As soon as the Junko showed up, I'm like, no! Nope. You got you got properly angry for a second there and it was a wonder to witness. <laughs> it really, really was. You were just like, oh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. like, Immediately, mm -hmm. like I'm it like, was really good. It was really, really good. Because <laughs> it's kind of insulting. Yeah, you know, You're like oh, absolutely, that that's not allowed. <laughs> yeah, like but it's. Just <laughs> and now I'm just kind of letting it roll. Yeah. I'm like kind of like okay, I'm kind of over the anger now. Yeah, because I've accepted this as like just false and not right. Mm -hmm. So. That's kind of, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It's like, we'll okay. get to the implications of what that means, but like, it, fine. This is just like a bit. Sure. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Oh, but we'll have to, we'll have to dig into that more next time. This is, uh, this is really good. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. See you then, folks. Bye.